Ephesians 1, 11 to 12 says, In him also we have obtained an inheritance, being predestined according to the purpose of him who works all things according to the counsel of his will, that we who first trusted in Christ should be to the praise of his glory. Those who put their trust in him and willingly entrust their own lives to him are predestined by God to be given to his Son. Therefore, we have become an inheritance in his Son, all in accordance with the plan of him who works out everything in conformity with the purpose of his will. The Son of God desires to lose none of those whom the Father has given to him, but instead he aims to raise them up on the last day so that everyone in him may enjoy the glory that God has given to his Son. Likewise, not only have we been made an inheritance in Christ, but we have also obtained an inheritance. When the Israelites came out of Egypt and entered Canaan, they drew lots to divide the land among the tribes. Each tribe had to struggle to occupy their portion of the land, and after obtaining it as their inheritance, they offered their lives to bear the responsibility of their portions. In the same way, through Christ, we have received salvation from the authority of Satan and have obtained the inheritance of God. Now, God's work becomes our work and it is our duty to bear this responsibility. The duty we have received from the church is an inheritance given to us by God. When we fulfill this duty, and make this inheritance prosper, God receives glory through it. From a worldly perspective, a life dedicated to fulfilling this duty may appear foolish. But those with truthful faith can endure all challenges. While many urgent issues related to our needs for flesh may arise as we sustain ourselves, we must prioritize the important matters over the urgent ones. Certainly, concerns about our physical needs are not insignificant, yet they cannot be compared to the significance of matters concerning our eternal life in heaven. The life offered for God's work is not a life of loss, as perceived by worldly people. Rather, it is a life that leads to obtaining eternity. Jesus lived such a life, and we are now following the path that he has already paved. This path is the life of a Christian. However, regrettably, many Christians lose sight of the true essence of this life and merely regard God as a helper. As a consequence, when their worldly responsibilities clash with the duties of the church, they may find themselves wandering, unsure of what to prioritize. They might even mistakenly believe that they have fulfilled all their duties by merely completing tasks assigned by the church without genuinely loving God. However, true faith means entrusting our lives to Christ who has saved us. Saying, I have faith, is the same as saying, I have entrusted myself to Christ. Likewise, when we possess a faith that completely separates us from our old selves, heaven is already assured for us. In this assured life, there can be no sorrow. This is because 
There will always be rewards following our actions, even in unexpected situations. Therefore, let us overcome the world and fulfill the portions given to us. Let us make our reborn life be the praise of his glory by succeeding in the inheritance given in Christ.